Hey guys, so uh, it is just before 1 o'clock and I'm just getting ready. I'm taking Dolce um, to the vet with my sister today just to get him checked out. Uh, a couple of updates. I weighed myself this morning and I'm down 5 pounds. Not from yesterday or anything, but f since the beginning of this pre-op diet. It's still not like the 20 or 25 that I wanted, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, anything else? Oh, I'm starting to get super nervous for Friday. Like, I'm starting to feel really sick to my stomach and just panicked. So I think today and especially tomorrow and Friday morning is going to be hell. I just remember when I got my, um, I had brain surgery, um, a few years ago and when I had that, the night before was like a nightmare. Like I was up all night, sick to my stomach, crying, like I didn't want to do it anymore. That morning I didn't think I was actually going to go through the surgery, but my parents convinced me to go to the hospital anyway and at least talk to the doctors. Um, so yeah, I'm not expecting it to be a fun couple of days. Look who's up there. Wave. For your adoring fans. Yeah. Say hi, mom. <laughs> Meredith watches. Hi, mom. Hi, Meredith. What? She can be your adoring fan. Oh, awesome. So we're in the car on the way to the vet, and Dolce is scared of cars ever since my sister Jillian heard him one time, or like <laughs> accidentally threw him out of the car, she around the car, the car, around the car. So look at him. He just has to be with his mommy. He has to be like all climbed up on me. It doesn't help the fact that I'm pointing a camera in his face since he's scared of cameras. Right, Bum Bum? No. Poor guy. We're at the vet, but we've been asked to collect Dolce's urine in this thing here. So this is going to be somewhat hilarious, I have a feeling, because I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to make my sister Jillian, who's right here, um, get to the pee collection part. Yeah, guess what? We're going to be a half an hour. And he just, somebody got the appointment. Yeah, I got the appointment time wrong, so we have to stay here for a half an hour or two. Plus, Dolce already went as we were walking in because we didn't know he needed to collect the urine sample, so... Get busy, buddy. You messed it. Dolce, 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 that was a fail. You need to pee some more. That was a fail. So we're done at the vet, and we were not able to get a urine sample. So that's our task for the evening: is to get a urine sample and run it back to the vet. Which is going to be fun, because Jillian tried twice, but she couldn't get it, so we're hoping that Krista is going to be the one that can magically get under that stream and collect the urine. Other than that, you have blood taken, and nothing physically looked wrong. Your nails I think are all he's short, fine. too, buddy. Oh, and he got his nails cut. I felt a little judged when she said that his nails are long, did you? I felt a little like we should have cut him. But my dad tried one, so it bled, so... I'm stuck in traffic right now on the way home. I don't even know what's going on. It's been backed up forever. Oh, I think there's an accident or something. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, there must be some sort of accident or something. Because there's two cop cars and then another car. All pulled over in the lane. Yeah, smashed. Pretty bad. So Krista is home and we are going to try collecting this urine sample. You look professional. <laughs> you snap it like you're ready My to like... Which time was that? No, not too big. But I'm scared. I'm not gonna Why are you guarantee. scared, Krista? It's not like you have to I pee in a thing. Did it work? Yeah. Is that enough? Good job. So the rest of today is going to be pretty boring for me. I'm starting to, like I said earlier today, feel like completely panicked about my surgery tomorrow. <sighs> anyway, I am just eating my regular stir fry, cottage cheese, and catching up on Pretty Little Liars. And Krista is asleep on my bed and is going out with Jillian and a friend out to have... A and W and then go play some board games or something. So I'm just at A and W now <laughs> with Ashlyn who doesn't want to be on camera and Jillian. Neither of them want to be on camera. So 
so we're just eating and then we're gonna go back to Ashlyn's place and just hang out and play games. the music but it's really weird. While we're eating there's like this mural behind us and some of the people remind us of people. <laughs> like so this really girl here really looks like Rachel McAdams. I think in her past life Rachel McAdams was an A&W server. So we are going to play Constructionary which I have never heard of before. It's like Pictionary, but with Lego. So instead of drawing things, you have to build things out of Lego. We finished Constructionary. Uh. Ashlyn won. I was a close second. And Jillian was way back here and hates the game. <laughs> F you, game. Uh, hey, this is PG. So, so I said F you. <laughs> that means the game fun, the fun what? Unlimited, come on. Fun Unlimited and <laughs> Constructionary. Jillian is convinced there's a fish called a mermaid fish. She bet anything. Ashwin wants a milkshake if she's wrong. <laughs> so Ashwin's trying to Google if there's such a thing as a mermaid fish. I don't think there is, but... It seems like some fish nickname would be a mermaid fish. Didn't say nickname of a fish, it just said fish. Okay, but it's, it's a mythological fish. fish. Oh. But, but it's fish. Just like a knuckle sandwich is a mythological <laughs> sandwich, a mermaid is a mythical fish. We're still on the mermaid so, fish which debate. So, I win. Because not only did you... So, I can say you no. I won. No. no. Technically. I'm no. not going to count mermaid as a real fish. No. Because it says a mythological yeah. creature. It doesn't say real fish, it just says fish. Plus well, so. we're... We're allowed to challenge it, well, and we challenged it. So it is the end of our evening. We are back in our bed. <laughs> our lover's bed, as Crystal wants everybody to know we sleep together. How are you feeling about tomorrow's events? Mm, I don't know. Nervous for you, nervous for me, my studying. We gotta tell them. Or did you? I don't wanna tell them. Just tell them. It'll add something to our day. Well, I don't know. I got pick to write the written part of the supply list test so I have to write on Monday because Krista I don't think we ever gave any background on you but maybe I don't want to. even the fact that she looks like she's 12 she's actually 23 she graduated university with a gold medal no she was not in the Olympics but apparently at her school they call them gold medals for like the highest mark in just your thing or all of social sciences I think my thing just sociology like my degree, I don't know. Anyway. Just sociology. She's, she's not that smart. <laughs> no, I was trying to make it sound better to them. Anyway, and then she went to teacher's college this last year and graduated with honors. Did you have honors? Distinction. She uh, graduated with distinction, and now she's trying to get a job working preferably with kindergarten age children, right? Probably. Yeah, probably. So she got called to write the supply list test this Monday and Julian got told today which is kind of weird. Know, other people got told like two days ago so that's an unfair disadvantage to me. It looks like you just got in they're like oh crap that person can't write it. I guess people. we'll have Krista Gilby be one of our teachers. <laughs> anyway we're gonna sign off. Uh, we will see you tomorrow. I'll mouth it you do <laughs> okay, it. Ready? Two, wait one, two, three. Sayonara!